Hey, it's your local fish keeper, Sabrina. Thank you very much for your guesses in last week's video. Today, the mystery fish will finally be revealed. If you've guessed a sneakhead, you are absolutely correct. This gorgeous boy is a rainbow sneakhead or a Chana Blaheri. I received him from a local reader. However, he appears to be a bit beaten up. He was placed with a group of Chanas in a tank at the breeder's place, which is common for breeders. But he seems more beaten up than others, so I am quite worried about that. As you can see here, he's still a small little boy. Chana Bleheri can grow up to about 25 centimeters or about 10 inches. Chanas or sneakheads are illegal in certain countries like the USA as they are voracious predators and will compete with native species for food and habitat. This has happened unfortunately before due to them being released in natural waters by a few irresponsible fish keepers. While acclimating the Chana boy, I realized something. The lid soles are way too big and he can easily jump out of it. To reinforce the lid, I am going to use this leftover mesh I have laying around from my other projects. The plan is to wrap it around the stainless steel lid. And ta-da! This is the finished product. I never said that it was going to look nice, but it gets the job done. As he's already looking pretty beaten up, I'm going to use a soft mesh net to scoop him out of the bag. Chana Boy is looking pretty restless, so it's finally time to release him into his new home. Unfortunately, his condition started deteriorating from here on out. There seems to be some sort of infection on his head from the bite mark area, and he started to lose consciousness. After one sleepless night, unfortunately, my China boy did not make it. A couple of days later, I was contacted by a friend informing me of a pufferfish that is available for purchase. I then contacted the store and was told it was a Pau Palembang Gensis or a dragon puffer, like Maple, my dragon pufferfish who had recently passed away. And if you know me, I absolutely love dragons. Well, safe to say, when the order arrived, it was definitely not a Pau Palembang Gensis.
Upon arrival, Meadow appears very active, and she seems to be aware of her surroundings, which are all good signs of a healthy pufferfish. She is also very curious and does not seem to be afraid of people. There are a few species under the target puffer category and I knew she is one but was really unsure of which species she really is. Meadow has a long snout, a distinct target mark on her rear end, a gradual transition of patterns towards her white belly with blue eyes. I then set out on a journey and went on forums and Facebook groups to find out what she really is. After a few days, a researcher of the Pau Puffer species was kind enough to help identify Meadow for me. According to him, this particular species is still undescribed. However, some record it as Pau Espi Chau Praia. It is noted to be one of the species from the lower Mekong River. They are very similar to Pau layers, with very slight differences. I think it could be a very close relative to Pau layers, or just a different variation. Despite popular beliefs, both Pau Liurus and Pau Espi Chau Praia are true freshwater species. Nevertheless, the monitoring begins. I note down my fish's activities and do close monitoring on them to ensure there are no abnormal behaviours, especially when they are new to their home. So far, Meadow has no problem eating a frozen shrimp and a cockle, so that is a huge relief on my part. Even though she is one of the lurker puffer species, Meadow seems to be much more active than most. She is very curious and is not as shy as my other puffers. I do notice that her activity level is much higher and spikes up at dawn and dusk, so she might be a crepuscular species. Since she's not really scared of people, I hope I can build her trust soon. Who would have thought that I'd be getting yet another puffer fish? It's the puffer's life for me, and honestly, I don't mind it as they're my favorite type of fish. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do like and subscribe if you would like to see more content, and especially, do comment down below as I love hearing your thoughts and reading your comments. Until then, see you next time! Mm -hmm.